This is a short tutorial to show you the fill in the blanks exercise, which is part of Smart Lab, which can be found in Smart 16.2. So here we are in the Smart Notebook, and I'm just going to click on the slide to show you a finished fill in the blanks exercise. Now you'll notice it's taken a little while to load up here. You will find there is a slight delay with all the Smart Lab activities, so you need to give the laptop a little bit of time just to kick in. So here I've got some text that I've written in, and then the student would need to put in the correct there, there or there into the boxes. So what I'll do is I'll just go up here to the pen and that takes you into the editing and you'll see what it would be like when you set it up. So in this box I've typed in the text and then when you click on the define blank section down at the bottom here that's when you decide what words are going to be covered up. So you could have all sorts of different ones, um, you can have quite a few you know, on the slide so I've still got some remaining here and I've also got you know a few kind of characters remaining there too. Um, so it's kind of quite a useful thing to do especially if you're trying to test students' understanding. Usually they're quite clear in these activities and they'll show you what the checking the answers is and then when you go to next you'll get to choose a theme. So I picked a basic theme here but you could have had underwater or this science one or monsters. They're kind of quite young, quite kind of sort of youthful, fun ones. And then when you click finish it'll reload itself and then this is what the students would see. So I'm just showing you, obviously I'm moving these words with my mouse, but um, the students would be moving them with their hands actually on the smart board. So I'll just quickly put all of these in place and because my setting was that you check the answers at the end, this little box comes up at the end. So you can see I've got some of them right. What's happened here is that the program doesn't know that these are the same word. Um, so it thinks that it's crucially important that a certain one goes into a certain box. So that's just something to bear in mind if you have two words that are identical. And then they're all correct and all of them will kind of tick there. And I would just click the reload for the next student to do the activity.